Welcome back to the video. My name is Psycho the Man, and welcome back to another Fortnite video. Today I'll be working every single Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass skin from Worst to Best. Chapter 4 Season 2 just released today, and now, after playing with the Battle Pass skin for a couple of hours, I think, and now I can finally leave you guys my ranking. Uh, keep in mind, this is definitely subject to change, like it does every single season, uh, where I rank these two rankings. It's just that, at the beginning of the season, my initial opinion is that the end of the season is my final thought. But with that being said, uh, Let's get right into it. Uh, I'm personally having a really good downtime with the season. Comment down below what you guys think about the battle pass and what you guys think the battle pass. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So coming in at last place here, number 8, is going to be Amani. Now, Imani is not a bad skin, it's just that I'm not really a big fan of cell shaded skin. I think it's just a big friend of the channel, not really a huge fan of these type of skins. Unless it's Goku and All Might, besides those two skins, and I guess Tekolo as well. I've never really been, been a huge fan of these cell shading skins, but I will say this is definitely one of the better ones, and even though she's really low down, she's still like, still like a solid 6 out of 10 skin. She does have some pretty cool other styles, she has the future style, which looks kind of cool, and the headliner one, which also I like the neon colors in that too. Uh, overall, it's not a bad skin, just that there's other, basically every other skin in the battle pass is way better than her, and maybe besides the last, the next two, but besides that, She's just kind of mid, and don't pin me in the comments for that because you guys know I'm not really a fan of Celsius skin. But yeah, uh, I am happy to have her. I'm happy she's not a high tier in the battle pass. Kind of low tier skin, just kind of like beside, kind of skip her and go back and get her later on in the season. But yeah, overall, I think she's a pretty good skin. Uh, I'll probably use her like once or twice in the season. But besides that, I'm too much. So coming in at number 7, we have High Wire. Once again, another not really a bad skin. I actually kind of like the base style. I think her base style and the style we get later on the season is pretty cool. I do also like her max in a style. So the problem with High Wire is, well, it's her really, really her page 12 in a style. Uh, it reminds me too much of a furry. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks cool, I guess. I just that I'm not really into that, so I don't really like this in a style too much. Like, I can't see why people like this, because it was, like I said, it's a pretty cool edit out of that for me, it looks too much like a furry, and I don't like that. But putting all the furry things aside as well, it's that high wire compared to every other skin in the battle pass, it just kind of means me over, you know? She's still like, I just like Im Imani, she's still like I saw with like 7 out of 10 skin. It's just that, I prefer basically every other skin in the battle pass, and just like last season, this battle pass is a really strong battle pass. They really took this battle pass in my opinion. Yeah, but overall, high wire is just good. She's above average. She's not okay, just, just above average. I mean, I'll probably use her a, bit, a little bit in the season. But hopefully she gets a really cool level up at a style, so that's what I'm hoping. Okay, you guys are gonna bully me in the comments, but coming at number six is gonna be Aaron Yeager. Hopefully I pronounced that right. I think I did, but yeah. Uh, this is our secret skin this season, it's Attack on Titan. Uh, you guys know me just like Amani, I haven't said I'm gonna say this again. I'm not really a huge fan of sell she just skins, and I don't really care for Attack on Titan too much, and if they watch the show. But then again, I don't care for My Hero Academia, but I'm also craving all my to come back because of a funny inside joke that my friends have. But besides that, I don't know. I just think Aaron Yeager's just kind of... I hate to say it. He's kind of mid. I'm not gonna lie, he's... I'm, I'm not gonna put him, like, super low, because if I put him, like, the bottom of the list, people are gonna shit on me in the comments. Because this guy's iconic. But in my opinion, if I'm not putting the, I don't want to get bullied in the comments below. Besides this, uh, he'll probably he'll probably uh below high wire. But just to be safe, I'm putting him here. Uh, positives with the skin. Uh, I like the cape. I think the cell shading on the hair is really good. I think the cell shading in the skin is just pretty good in general. And I think the pickaxe is really cool. No, not talk about the set. set. Overall, Aaron Yeager is not a bad skin. Just that, just like Geralt, Geralt. I don't really care for my not my academia. I don't really care for Attack on Titan. I don't care for this collab. And hopefully he gets some red in style. So this, the base style for the skin is just Sticks. not it. Hopefully he gets some red style or something. If he gets some red style, put him higher on the list. Okay, now we can the top five. I want to say a really big disclaimer. Uh, I think every skin top 5 now is a 9 out of 10 or above. Possibly, yeah, 9 out of 10 or above. I really like all the rest of these skins in the past. So, with that being said, coming in number 5 is going to be Mizuki. Now, is there anything particularly wrong with the skin? No, I actually like it. I like the color scheme, just some really cool edit styles. 
if your tier 100 skin is honestly pretty good. Is she as good as Ageless? No, Ageless is not gonna be top fire really long time, I don't think. Actually, I don't think they ever are gonna top Ageless. They ain't really knocked on the park of that tier 100. But for a follow up, is it good? Yes, I do believe this is a good tier 100 skin. I saw people complaining online that the skin is kind of not worth seeing tier 100, but I think it wor is worth it. She has a really cool magnetic in a style. She has a really cool magnetic, mag uh, I'm really cool lava in the style. I don't know why I said that. But overall, I really do like the skin. I think she's really awesome, and I cannot wait to unlock her. I'm gonna be using her a lot this season, and just hopefully, like Ageless, she gets some overtime styles. If she gets an overtime style for the end of the season, she can just jump up my ranking. Because Ageless went from like being number two to. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, he's basically. I don't know. I, I don't know where Ageless puts in my ranking. I think I put him on my re ranking at number one. But either way, uh, yeah, uh, long story short, give her some lightning edit styles and she'll probably bump up for me. But yeah, overall, she's still a 9 out of 10 skin. Maybe she'll bump up when I unlock her too, who knows. Uh, yeah, overall, Mizuki's really cool. So coming in number four, we have Thunder. This is a skin that I remember getting leaked from the survey, and I was actually really excited to get him, so I was really like, it's Godzilla ripped out. Like, you got to admit, this skin, with the base style, it's pretty similar to Godzilla. And he's completely dripped out. Like, look at the drip. Look at the watch. Look at the red jacket. Look at everything. But yeah, with that being said, Thunder is a really, really cool. That's some really cool edit styles. We have the Midnight Snack Thunder, which I have yet to unlock. Uh, I don't know why I don't have it unlocked. I'll probably get unlocked uh, sooner or later. But yeah, it's a really cool edit style. I really like it. I cannot wait to get it. I'm kind of just like two levels away from unlocking it. And then the Rumbling Thunder edit style we get later on the season is really cool as well. I am a really big fan of these like meme skins, and he's kind of like a meme skin, but also kind of nice. Kind of like a really cool meme skin, because he's, like, he's a lizard, right? It's like essentially funny, but at the same time, he still looks really, really, really cool. And he fits the theme perfectly. I think he's, yeah, he's supposed to be like a little Kai. I bet he's supposed to be a Kaiju, I'm pretty sure. And. They really nailed the skin perfectly. I think he fits it perfectly with the theme. I think all the edit styles are really cool, and I'm definitely going to be using him a lot this chapter. Uh, I really like Thunder. He's really incredible, and I think you guys all like him as well, too. So, coming in number three is going to be our tier one skin, Rento the Destroyer. What do I say about the skin? Uh, once again, uh, Fortnite probably decided, hey, He's like, well, he likes his really cool space skins, and let's make him a little one. Um, he's not really space, but I, you know, it's like a futuristic type of neon skin. He looks cosmic enough to me. Uh, he looks like something out of, like, Amy and the Lost Quantumania or something like that. But yeah, either way, or even at, or out of Rick and Morty. He looks like a Rick and Morty villain or something. I don't know. But overall, uh, I love Renzo. I think Renzo is really, really cool. I think he has really cool edit styles. You have the base style here, which is really cool. I love the flaming like mohawk that's going on. The uh, Renzo the Magnificent style, the white and gold style. Look at that, man. Look at the drip. Look at everything. This skin is really, really cool. You can also get the reactive feature off, which is always a nice touch. And the best part of the skin is, in my opinion, the cloak. Uh, this is leaked in the survey. When I was leaked in the survey, I was like, I need the skin in my locker and as soon as possible. And now having him, I'm like, Man, if he gets, I'm sure that's one out. If just like Celine, he gets some overtime styles, he is shooting up probably to number one. I love the Robo Coco. I love both styles. It looks really, really cool. I just really love Renzo, man. He's just an amazing skin. I remember he got leaked for by Shina and Hypex on Twitter, with saying like he beats here won the battle pass. I was so happy, and I am honestly really happy at this one. He's one of my personal favorites right now. Really awesome skin, and I'm going to be running him throughout the entirety of the season. So coming in number two, we have Stray. Now, Stray and number one are really hard like, to choose, which one I prefer more. But I'm going to go with Stray for now. Once again, he can always become higher if he gets overtime styles. But yeah, overall, Stray is really, really cool. I really do like this skin. I think he has three really cool edit styles. I like my, first, my personal favorite one being the Stealth Stray. I think the Stealth Stray looks really, really cool. I love the red mask on it. But yeah, overall, I think Stray's just a really, really cool skin. You can also take the mask off of him, and he also has the lightning. I think it's just honestly an incredible Battle Pass skin. And when I heard Futuristic Drift, originally, I was... I wasn't too excited. When the Fleeks came, I was like, oh, we're getting another Drift skin. Oh, that's cool. Uh, 
we'll see how good it is. But when we saw the skin, I was like blown away right away. I think this skin is really, really cool. And I'm gonna be using him a ton throughout the entirety of the rest of the season. I think he's fantastic. And yeah, overall, I think Drift, not, not Drift, Stray might be my new favorite Fox Clan skin. I don't think he's like as good as V. Who knows though? I have to check that out. But if you know me and you know my channel, coming in number one is going to be Mystica. Uh, I'm gonna see what I said last season about the galaxy stuff. Uh, I am a sucker when it comes to galaxy themed content and like space theme stuff in Fortnite. I absolutely love it. And this was a skin that was originally leaked on that skin survey. I was like, holy shit, the game the Galaxy Samurai. Give it to me now. And we got the skin. And I think Mystica is really, really cool. I will say the uh, galaxy effect on the Crimson Bloom style, I wish it was a little more red on the head. But besides that, I think it's really, really cool. I think she has three really awesome edit styles. The first one I want being the Winter Song one. I think the Winter Song is really, really cool. And just overall, I just really do like this skin. I do like what they did with the skin. I like how, like I said, it fits perfectly with the season of the theme, by the way. She is both a futuristic samurai. He's literally a galaxy samurai. If it's perfectly with the theme of the season, and I really do like the skin a lot. I think she's fantastic, and overall, I'm um, using her a lot this season. Now, will she get overtime styles? Is the question. If she does, just like last season, she is probably going to go up a little bit because usually two skins per season don't get overtime styles. It's probably Aaron. I'm gonna say it's not. I'll be Aaron Yeager. Uh, I'm gonna guess possibly Mystica. And then, man, hopefully, Highwire, or no, Imani, Amani. Amani's not going to get anything this season, so that'll be Amani, Mystica, and, and uh, yeah, so this is in two ones, probably, and Aaron Yeager. It'll be three ones to get over time, so. Besides that, Mystica is really, really cool, and I'm using her a lot this season, and probably the lot through the rest of the Fortnite. My ranking for the Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass. Remember, keep let me know down below what you all done with this Battle Pass. I think it's a pretty strong one. Not as good as last season, but I think overall it's a pretty good Battle Pass. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Make sure you all like and subscribe, because we have a lot more Chapter 4 Season 2 content coming your way. My name is Michael the Man. I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everybody, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.